What's going on, y'all? It's the Caveman back at it again with another video. And I decided since I want to stay keeping up with the Sabres and the recent games, I felt like it would be a little bit hard to just recap every individual game at a time and the way the NHL season is laid out this year is that they're playing two games against the same team like back to back and then they'll have a break and then they'll play against another team two games in a row. They're playing sets of games against the same team and I felt like why not just kind of recap both games. So for example we played the Devils this weekend so I will recap both of those games instead of just doing each one individually if that makes sense. So without wasting any time let's just hop right into it. Uh, this weekend we needed four points and we were unable to get that. We only got two points. We really needed four we really could use four and against the new jersey devils we really would have liked to see four points they're not necessarily the strongest team in the division by any stretch of the imagination we definitely should have been able to walk out of there with four points but the way we played this weekend i mean even in the first game after we did win uh it wasn't pretty we played some ugly freaking hockey and you know that second game we deserved to lose and there's no there's no if ands buts about it we played we played very awful hockey this weekend, especially in the second game. The only good that came from the first game was the fact that Linus Allmark once again won us the game. Granted, that third goal he let in, he was kind of sleeping. It was a bad angle. He, got, he took a shot off the arm and went in off of his back about it was like some weird angle he shouldn't have been off the post but nevertheless he still won us the game he made a bunch of big saves he didn't let in a single goal in the shootout uh yeah so that was really the only good that came from that game otherwise we came out we started the first period and a half looking like we just picked up where we left off from that last rangers game which was very ugly as i said in my last video i mean the power play is where we're scoring for the most part and that's what happened this weekend in the first game we went one for five on the power play and it's a miracle we won because when our power play isn't scoring you know, as much as it really should, especially on five opportunities, we only got one goal. Uh, I'm surprised we were able to get out of the game with a win, and that was because of Linus Allmark, really. That's really what it comes down to, is we were able to escape that game with one power play goal because of Linus Allmark. I was very impressed by the answer, though, by the Sabres in the third period. The the Devils scored a very early goal in the third period, and the way that game was going, it almost felt like whoever had the next goal was going to win, but we did the only thing we could do, and that was score right away. We answered really fast. Tobias Reeder from Cody Eakin and Colin Miller. That Cody Eakin and Kyle Posa line really hadn't been looking too pretty especially with a poso on it but they were able to answer for us and tie the game up really quickly after they took that lead so that goal was big so i give the sabers props for that other than that we are an awful five on five team we were all weekend and i've tweeted this out but this season alone we've turned over the puck more than russell westbrook has turned over the basketball in his entire career like we cannot get out of our end without turning the puck over eric stall is a walking turnover this dude is a skating turnover he scores sometimes but otherwise he's usually a skating turnover he, he's for some reason dancing with the puck in front of our own net he's turning the puck over giving them fantastic opportunities which happened in the second game this guy needs to f figure some shit out like I, I the only saving grace from eric stall so far is the fact that he's scoring but other than that he's a he's literally a walking detriment he turns the puck over in the worst situations and he's done it numerous times this season i believe it was the third goal or the second second or third goal in the first game that was an awful turnover as well henry yoki haru tried to bounce a pass up to taylor hall and taylor hall was unable to retrieve the pass they came back down and uh, i'm not sure i think it was andres johansson i believe is how you say his name for the devils ripped the shot bar down it was beautiful but that goal became because of a neutral zone turnover our turnovers they lead to a lot of goals whether they're at our own blue line in our own zone in the neutral zone in the offensive zone we turn over the puck horribly 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 sometimes our puck possession is so questionable and it really leads to our downfall in a lot of situations the day we came out with two points in the first game on the back of lena's unmark but, like I said, we cannot continue to count on Linus Allmark to win us games. And even when he plays outstanding, as we saw in that one Rangers game, sometimes it's not enough. And we really need to figure some shit out. And in the second game, uh, playing Carter Hutton was not the issue we lost. You know, we just, unfortunately, Carter Hutton is not, I don't think he's got the ability to really keep a team in a game the same way Linus Allmark has shown that he can. But still, that doesn't mean, it's not any excuse for why we lost. Carter Hutton was not the reason we lost that game. So game two, one o'clock on Sunday, we lose five to three in regulation. We played awful like that. I would put that game. I would play that. Put that second Devils game up there with that uh, that Rangers game where Lena Hallmark made like thirty six saves or something stupid. You know, I put that. I put those two games up at the top for worst games this year. Like, oh my god! Like our, our we are a, we are a pedestrian team when it comes to five on five. We might as well be shorthanded when it's five on five. Like even strength is bad. We only are good on the power play, and even then, when our power play isn't good, it's it's bad. Like we are an awful hockey team if it's not for our power play. It's a miracle. That 
that we get as many power plays as we do to even give us chances to win these hockey games. We gave up two breakaway goals. One came in the first 20 seconds of the hockey game. The other one came at the very end of the second period with like 0.6 seconds left. We we finally were putting on pressure at the end of that second period too, and we go and give up a breakaway. His rebound control wasn't the greatest, but until you watch the replay, Miles Wood just ripped a snapshot right into his face, and of course, it's going to, you know, throw you back a little bit you can't control a rebound off of your face and he puts in the rebound himself miles wood does they take a lead going into the third period and you know we are just oh my god it's just horrible man that whole that whole game that whole second game was just abysmal and i once again can't stand how people can blame carter hutton when we go out and we cannot score a goal five on five when we cannot play hockey at a, at a professional level when it's five on five, we literally look incompetent. I'm not going to sit here and say playing Carter Hutton is, you know, a good thing. And I wish we could play Linus Hallmark every single game, but it's almost a blessing in disguise when Carter Hutton goes in the net and he's un unfortunately unable to, you know, play on his head, stand on his head and keep us in the game. He's not really that kind of goalie, but what I mean by a blessing in disguise is that it really shows how bad we are. Like, even in that first game, we only win because of Linus Hallmark playing out of his mind. And Carter Hutton, when he's unable to do that, it really shows the weaknesses we have. Like, oh my, like, oh my God, it's horrible. Like, we, we scored three goals. Three even strength goals on Scott Wedgwood and Eric Comrie. Do you know who those guys are? Because I fucking don't. I understand that everybody wants to just look at the goalie when every goal goes in, especially Carter Hutton. Like, this fan base just loves to point the finger at Carter Hutton whenever a goal goes in. Like, that empty netter went in, and then there were probably people blaming Carter Hutton for the empty netter. Like, that guy, he, he, like, we know. We know who Carter Hutton is. He's not gonna keep us in a game. He's not gonna play on his, he's not gonna stand on his head and make 55 saves and win us a hockey game. We know that. But we shouldn't have to rely on a goalie to do that. We get it sometimes from Allmark. We've seen it already this season we've only played nine games and we've seen that happen from Linus Hallmark and it wasn't even enough so you can't expect our goalies to carry us through the season and that seems to be what people want how many turnovers are we going to have in our own end that lead to goals how many turnovers in the neutral zone that are we going to have that lead to goals how many times are we going to get scored on five on five that we're not matching five on five we play we are a pedestrian hockey team five on five and that is what is dragging this team down even though our power play is our, our bright spot of this hockey team it's it's hard to really imagine how that's even possible because our power play it's one of the best in the league once it can establish possession once it can really settle the puck down in the offensive zone but if we can't do that which we can't we are horrible like our power play it's a miracle like i said that we get as many power plays as we do because we we really that's the only place our scoring comes from and to see how bad our power play is trying to break in, trying to get through the neutral zone, if any team stands at the blue line, like every team does, and tries to disrupt the offensive zone entry by the power play, they can't do it. They start to scramble. They, they just dish it off to the next guy that's right next to them, or they try to chip it in deep, and then it just gets dumped right back out. It's like, our power play entry is so horrible. Our power play, trying to establish the power play, trying to establish possession, settled zone possession on the power play, watching them try to do that is like watching, like I want to gouge my eyes out watching that. Like it's horrible. So to me, it's like you can point to Carter Hutton in that second game all you want, but that's not the problem. We're not getting scoring five on five from, you know, any of our top guys whatsoever. You know, where is Victor Olofsson? Where's Jack Eichel? Where's Taylor Hall? I mean, Kyle Repulsa is getting paid a pretty penny. It's like local news writers around here, Mike Harrington, I'm sure if you are a Sabres, Sabres Twitter goer, you would know who Mike Harrington is. He's always tweeting about the Sabres he works for the Buffalo News uh he tweeted this out and it basically sums up my my entire feelings about it Eichel Skinner Hall and Oposo 33 million nine and a half games three goals that's the problem if if that's not the problem to you and you think the goaltending is the problem uh you 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 know you need to you know kind of look at it a little more you need to watch the games and really analyze what's going on here because to me that right there is exactly the issue. Not having Reinhardt this weekend really doesn't help either, but that's really no excuse. We just, we really got to clean shit up. Reinhardt is, he's a really important piece of our team, but that's just no excuse for what we witnessed this weekend, especially in the second game. Not getting scoring from guys we need scoring from. I think we are easily a six plus win team right now if we have five, four or five more goals from guys that we consider our top players. Like I said in my last video about the Sabres, that's the problem. Our top players need to score. We can't rely on the backs of our power play and our goaltenders to win games anymore. That's not going to cut it. That's why we're losing games we shouldn't be losing. So yeah, to me, it's that simple. You know, we're not getting scoring from our top guys. We're relying on our power play and we really are relying on our goaltending at the end of the day. You know, the more I really start to realize it, Linus Allmark has been carrying us these past few games and putting Carter 
Hutton in, although it wasn't his fault, it exposes all of our weaknesses because Carter Hutton is not that goalie that's going to bail you out 50 times out of 50. So yeah, that's where we're at after those two games. I'm going to do a recap about the two Islander games that we have coming up this week. Um, you know, I would like to see something better. I would like to see a little more from the team on five on five and from our top players in general. It's just getting to an unacceptable level. We need we need production from our top guys. So let me know what you think of the two games coming up. Let me know what you thought of the two games against the Devils this weekend. I want to know your thoughts down below. I want to know what you thought of the video. If you like the video, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Hit the bell to know when I upload next. If you guys want to go follow me on Twitter as well. I'm always tweeting. I'm always active over there. So if you want to go hit me up over there, that would be appreciated. But if you enjoyed the video, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.